A radio station employer in Michigan was hiring a sports director. One of the candidates was somebody from South Dakota who impressed this station owner tremendously. They brought him to Michigan for an interview, took him to dinner, and that's where everything fell apart. This guy's table manners were embarrassing and there was no way the employer could justify hiring him after they shared the meal. So besides using your napkin, if a prospective employer wants to take you to dinner, what are some other tips, tricks, and strategies for you to help win your next job interview? I'm John Chalesnik. That's what we'll explore in this edition of Q&A with STAA. There's four things to know before you interview. One, most employers evaluate the success of the interview based upon how well they get to know you. So don't feel like you have to force answers to fit the position description or based upon what you think the employer wants to know. They're just trying to get to know you better. Two, there are no wrong answers. Answer truthfully from your heart. When I interviewed with Len Weiner at ESPN Radio Network, he asked me, do you live, eat, and breathe sports? I thought for a moment, well, he probably wants me to say yes, but the truth is that I don't. And eventually, if he hires me, he's going to figure that out. So I told him, as much as I love sports, sometimes it's the last thing I want to do, and I'd rather do A, B, and C. Len told me, after a pause, you and I are the exact same way, and I ended up with the job. So again, there's no wrong answers. Number three, don't try to force your answers to fit the job. I alluded to this earlier. Just answer truthfully because the employer is simply trying to get to know you better. If you're interviewing for the Yankees play-by-play -play job and they ask you about your passion in life, don't say, oh, sports broadcasting and play-by-play. -play. No, maybe your passion is studying Civil War history or surfing. Those are the answers you want to give. Finally, do your homework. Research the company, the employer, the people you'll be working with, the sales manager, the market, all of those things. That way, you're going to learn information that you'll be able to share organically during the interview, and the employer is going to be impressed with your preparation. If you want help winning the job interview or even getting the job interview, we can help you. Join STAA. Just click on the link in the notes section below this video. In our next edition of Q&A, we'll continue on the job interview theme, seven common questions that employers ask in sportscasting job interviews. If you have a question you would like addressed in an upcoming edition of Q&A with STAA, email it to us, qa at staatalent.com.